best fucking Jor Dela episode ever, bitch. <laughs> Let's talk about it because, oh my God, I did not expect to win this much watching this damn show. Like, baby, this is insane, y'all. Your daily gang, how have y'all been doing in heaven? Like, it's been freaking amazing up here, huh? You know I'm happy as fuck, bitch. Look what I got on, bitch. And yes, we smiling, bitch. You know I'm happy as fuck when I throw on the yellow because this don't make no damn sense how much we just been winning with this couple. I knew, but I didn't know I knew. If that meant, I don't know, bitch. We winning and I know my happiness is about to disturb some people. I know, it's, a, it's okay. I mean, for any of the haters who are currently tuned in right now, what up my little Mikos? What up, what is <laughs> Listen, I never imagined there was people outside of Jordala fans, right? Jordala gang gang clicking on my videos, these long ass Jordala reaction videos, watching every minute of it just to be upset that I'm happy. Honey, the way I was in complete shock when fans was messaging me about a screenshot of me on Instagram under a Jordala post where I wrote a Jordala paragraph. Um, excuse me, a Jordala book, bitch, because you know I got a chat, bitch. You know, I got... Never imagined that they would take a screenshot of me. And you know what's so funny about my Instagram page, right? If you click on my Instagram page, there is nothing Jordala related on my actual Instagram. So I'm like, how the fuck they know that's me? <laughs> Cracking up, screenshotted me, honey. Brought me to the Twitter drama, honey. It was just like this bitch who be rolling all happily in the grass. Think she know Jordana. Bitch, I pay attention to the bitch. Y'all mad because I put a paragraph, a Jordana paragraph under a fucking Jordana post. And it has nothing to do with Bolivia, honey. It had nothing to do with I was like, damn, like, I know the fans always be trying to warn me about that side of the fandom, but I had no idea how insane it really was on that side. That's why I'm just like, you know, I'm just trying to mind my business with that. Okay, so Lil Miko's join me right now. If y'all want to watch this, it is fine. Go ahead. Just sit in the back, though, with the nosebleeds by the trash cans, okay? Because the front row is only for Jordala gang only, okay? Stay far away from me because, bitch, I am not trying to get stabbed. Do not stab me, bitch, because I'm not trying to play with y'all i'm really just trying to mind my jordana business y'all i don't come over here talking about no other shits on my channel bitch everything say jordana and if i have ever brought up any of the other couples in my damn reactions it has been nothing but love nothing but love for jasher Bolivia, coop and patience what, what's their um ship name is it is it Cations? I hope it ain't P-O-O-P. Please don't let it be poop. Please don't let it be poop. But listen, it's only love for every other ship here. So the fact that people are bothering me, y'all sad. Y'all sad. But it's okay. I'm gonna be happy anyway, bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone. Listen, I'm trying to listen to Layla, bitch. I am going to listen to Layla. Stay away. Get my restraining orders. Everything. Because, bitch, I'm not trying to get stabbed. So let that be. But speaking of stabbing, bitch fucking patience you know what i am so happy i did not finish watching that whole episode <laughs> and that i ended it after that proposal scene because bitch the way that stabbing would have messed up my whole happy mood people was asking like why you didn't react to uh patience and i'm just like first of all i don't need to be doing that like my channel is for jordala only so that ain't got nothing to do with me and my jordala -ness, okay but i'm so happy i didn't see that because that definitely would have messed up my mood i would have been like the billy issue again i would have been like oh fuck so i'm glad that i was just like let me just focus on jordala this whole entire episode because i'm a jordala reactor that's all i should be focused on anyway people like please only watch my videos if you're a jordala fan because that's all you about to get but if you choose to watch this just to be miserable and all that kind of stuff that's cute you, but like leave me alone bitch i ain't got nothing to do with y'all leave me and my happiness like because if anything y'all making me want to be more crazy for them bitch like i'm gonna go bad crazy now knowing that haters are on here watching me be happy i'm gonna make y'all even more miserable bitch so why would y'all do this to yourself the way i am not applying my energy to any of the other relationships on the show because that ain't got nothing to do with me and my likes bitch i like jordala so that's who i'm about to be focused on like y'all gotta stop this shit but anyway keep doing y'all just don't stab me bitch don't want to know
please. But shout out to Jordela gang, cause y'all are just, y'all are the best. Like the way y'all was going off on people. Oh my gosh, I'm just like, let it be what it be. But anyway, let's get into this damn thing because babe, I am just, I'm still in shock. It just feels like a fairy tale. Jordela's storyline is such a beautiful ass fairy tale. Like just imagine their love story, right, was a book. Way before we knew what the characters looked like, way before we knew all of that stuff, just imagine reading this story in a damn book, right? You would be like, what in the fuck? This is the best damn story I have ever read in my entire life. Like, you would just be so blown away. That is just how magical this storyline is. I'm not even talking about just how good they look together. Like, the storyline of Jordela is insane to me. Wow. I knew this was about to be a beautiful, deep connection, but I did not know it was going to hit on this level like we really just got a fucking proposal one i was refusing to believe but we really got that and it makes so much fucking sense greta and michael bays like oh, they are just so perfect i can't imagine any other people playing their roles at all like greta is the perfect layla michael is the perfect jordan and their chemistry is just perfection to have this amazing ass love story like i said just imagine it was in a book before we even got a show with it then to have freaking the talents of greta and michael sharing this story it is just so heavenly i am so happy i chose to give so much energy to this damn couple i just love how happy this couple makes me and bitch we about to be happy for months bitch like i am not worried about the future of jordela I'm not thinking of about like oh are they gonna break up and none of that i don't need to focus on that bitch we get to live months and months and months with jordela being fucking engaged this is insane like i'm not worried about the future of them when it comes it comes bitch but baby the fact that we get to just be in this heavenly hiatus though is insane and it has so many people pissed but bitch i smell it bitch this is everything man i fucking won i love winning and may we continue to win bitch listen i had to accept that everybody who's hating on this engagement right now has not fucking paid attention to Jordela's storyline one bit they just hate him because it's Layla just because it's Jordan and because they're young everybody in the vortex date each other that's the only things they keep bringing up and my favorite is when they bring up Jordan's past marriage bitch have y'all watched the show a marriage that was not legally valid bitch bringing up a proposal that never happened there was only one proposal that jordan has made in this entire show and we're gonna leave it at that but anyway that's what they do they have not paid attention to jordan and layla's love story because they refuse to but they not gonna refuse to throw their little two cents and a pins in that as if it's about to change a damn thing in the storyline as if it's going to change anything bitch story was already written honey story was filmed engagement is here hiatus is here and y'all are pissed and y'all just gonna have to be pissed because it's not going to change anything y'all you're getting fucking comments and stuff from people who stopped watching the show in season three and season two like y'all shouldn't be saying anything like that's how i feel they don't know this couple and this is why i don't speak on other fucking couples on the show because i don't pay attention to their storylines why would i put my two cents or opinions about a damn couple that i am not studying like i don't know what the hell's going on with spolivia jasher coop and patience i see it but i'm not paying that close attention attention to really understand it but you know this is what the haters do it is what it is we love the hate because guess what bitch is not about to make this engagement disappear it happened bitch and look we gotta go through a long ass hiatus of fucking jordela being engaged an unchangeable fucking engagement for five to six months bitch so all the crying and complaining happening daily from people who don't even know one damn thing about jordela Y'all is just wasting beautiful energy y'all can be go spending on somebody else. Like maybe spending it on y'all ships. 
I mean, that would make sense to me, right? I'm just saying. Right now, we went in for a very, very long time. Despite what a hater gotta say. Despite whoever running these damn social media accounts for all American. Because, babe, do they even watch the show? I'm not even about to play. But, uh, for those who understand it, right? Who has watched scene for scene and studied this couple. You cannot question this love story and where they are now. And, like, everything makes sense. This marriage, this proposal proposal makes the most perfect sense for them it is incredible to have witnessed this and i'm just blown a fucking way bitch this is insane like i knew i was gonna win bitch but man i'm telling y'all i don't know i just spoke in my heart Brittany, react to this damn couple get your life because it's gonna be something special with you and i think the best thing about reacting to this couple is that it's really affecting me and my personal thoughts it's like opening me up to you know love and that's big this like i have not allowed myself to let love in and that's why i relate to freaking layla in just so many damn ways and it's not because somebody really has hurt me it's because of the people around me who has been hurt by love i would say i pushed away quite a good few men in my life and I feel bad I kind of feel like I pushed away a couple of Jordans so I you know when I think about it, I'm like damn if I would have allowed you know but it's just like I'm much tougher it's hard to get through to me that's what I was assuming with Layla I was just like it is going to be so hard to get through to this woman because she has been so hurt in her previous life but fucking Jordan man fucking Jordan and I'm just like this just has been so beautiful to witness y'all this has been interesting insane for me i love this so much so we about to talk about this we are about to dissect the fuck out of this proposal i am so ready because i didn't get to do it in my last reaction because bitch i was told the fuck up i was done after that first watch i said no no i just didn't have any energy but i have just been smiling watching this proposal every single day since the premiere bitch and i just do not get tired of it one bit it's like i'm watching it for the first time i'm discovering things i haven't noticed before it has just been the most beautiful thing ever to just watch and just be like wow we're really here we smiling we happy and let's get into this because what i'm about to do is i'm gonna actually <laughs> i gotta prep myself for this you know what i'm saying so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna watch every jordela scene in the finale all them scenes just one time because i gotta you know warm myself up to that damn proposal bitch because oh my gosh the way i was refusing to believe it was jordela i was refusing to believe it was jordan's ring bitch i was just like nope it's cool <laughs> it's spencer bitch it's at, i was refusing i'm really about to just watch that again and be like what the fuck like you tricked the fuck out of me jordan shout out to michael's acting he ate that up that is my boo zaddy right there because oh come for him all you want but y'all know he got y'all asses too but y'all gonna be hating on his acting just because jordela winning bitch and it's okay <laughs> it is okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna watch all of them scenes once but when it comes to that proposal bitch Oh, we spending a good amount of time right there. So before we get into this, listen, if I can give an award for the best Jordela thoughts ever thought of, bitch, okay, it would go to this person right here. I am talking about brain rots, B-R-A-I-N-R-A-W-T. Listen, whoever wrote all these Jordela thoughts, yo, y'all have to read this, okay? If you are a Jordela fan, please, it is so damn good that I am going to link this fucking post in my my fucking bio because y'all have to read this i'm gonna actually link my jordela sister kirsten's tweet <laughs> in this because she got the tweet with the whole damn screenshots of that entire post so y'all can go check out this post and please read word for word y'all are going to be blown away this person just get it it's amazing how all of jordela gang they really get it like y'all minds bitch i love saying because y'all minds like the edits y'all do the writing y'all do these fanfics y'all do everything like y'all minds are fucking incredible y'all get it because first of all y'all pay attention y'all know the damn storyline i just love this so much but y'all have to read this specific post because i'm sure i'm going to be referencing it during this whole damn reaction that i'm about to do especially when i'm on that proposal part because baby they really just get it so here's a award to you brain rot because baby but yes yeah, so let's get into this y'all i am really missing these reactions so i'll just like let me just give y'all something honey because i'm sure 
year i'm gonna go on a pretty good couple month break <laughs> on my channel you know just to like focus on my personal thing building my other stuff that i'm doing but we about to get this jordana -ness in and then like a couple of months from now i am gonna come back because we still got to do the season four rewatch party so i'm gonna give y'all part two of that but yes honey let's just eat this up again because this is my favorite jordana episode y'all let's just be happy bitch jordana gang y'all ready haters y'all ready let's get into this jordana happiness bitch ah! The number of times I have watched this is insane. Say so, yeah. <laughs> Subject. Yo, I cannot get over that this was a dream. But listen, I'm cracking up because fans was bringing up that freaking Layla is wearing the ring <laughs> in the damn dream. They was like, Layla's wearing the engagement ring, but she's wearing it on her right hand instead of the left. But then they was like, is that mirroring effect, bitch? I can't because y'all minds, bitch. Because listen, Jordan and Layla fucking mirror each other since season one, bitch. I'm telling you, like, every time I think of them mirroring each other, I think of ex Danya films and that mirror edit she did of Jordana, bitch. I be cracking up. Y'all are so right, honey. Danya had three Jordana scenes in a dream, bitch. And it was just so accurate because they mirror each other like no other couple ever. This is so funny that y'all mentioned that. I said, not the engagement ring being on the right hand in the dream i'll say i'm not but we gonna eat that up bitch. that's what we gonna say we gonna stand by that but bitch they was looking too damn good too damn good in this damn outfit just for this to be a damn dream but it's okay because jordan is a sexy fool he's like yeah yeah you look smashing though like, I'm like, what the what's he even paying attention to what they was talking about jordan i can't wait no that wasn't their names what was it it was like nigel and jamal hold on <laughs> Um, that's Nigel, that's Jamal. I'm screaming! Shout out to Naimal! Mm -hmm. I can't! Alright, next scene. Hey! Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The way I'm not getting used to this is crazy. Ooh. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. I love really this. Missing him lately. Just, just so many things I want to talk to him about. After my mom's accident, I, um, I didn't know who to turn to, but luckily your mom really stepped up. Yeah, and Preach offered to do the same, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it might be worth considering. He's a good guy, and your dad liked him too. You know what's so amazing, y'all, about this? They can literally only have this conversation with each other. That's insane. Like, they want to be able to have this conversation with any of the people they was in previous relationships with. Jordan knows everything that Layla has been through, and Layla knows everything that Jordan has been through. It's not like you're talking to Jordan about his dad, but you have no idea who his dad is, right? You didn't actually get to grow up with this dad. Like, Layla really grew up with freaking Billy. This is is some deep history and now they're both going through similar grieving experience he just lost his dad Layla lost her mom a while ago and it's the same thing like a vehicle accident like they both have to go through this the way they just had to go through this together is insane to me and like Jordan knew Layla's mom and of course Layla knows Billy and Laura and it's just the fact that Laura was able to be there for Layla through this listen to what Layla is saying she's like like when my mom passed i didn't know who to turn to but thank god your mom was there like for her to be saying this to her future husband to be <laughs> like that as well like your mother was there and remember laura just wasn't there for layla growing up it was also billy so she's also experiencing this feeling of losing like a father figure herself and it happens to be the love of her life's father like what other love will top this for them what is going to replace what they have Please let me know. This is a crazy connection to have with someone that you're in love with. Let's be real. There is nothing that is going to top this kind of love. I'm telling you, imagine reading this in a book, bitch. You'll be like, what in the fuck? It's the history they have with each other. They are each other's person. This is insane to me. <laughs> oh, stop okay let's continue because babe want to help me find a picture of jj with his shirt and don't forget she called him bae <laughs> i can't get over the fact that she called him bae stop <laughs> i'm not a miracle I'm not a worker Layla. <laughs> oh he looks so good in this episode the way that they was feeding us they was just giving us every fucking thing in this episode we got the bae we got the first crush we got the proposal we just we was bad bitch it's so much this 
is my favorite episode by far. Okay, next one, next one. Oh, ah. she used to be sexy now. Michael's baby for Woo! I will be here for years, bitch. Oh, 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 they so, oh, I can't. <laughs> this so, um, one, she just had to know. Mm -hmm. If someone told mm -hmm. you we'd end up together. Like, <sighs> then I wish at this whole time machine came true. You were my first crush. Wait, really? much right now ain't no way the proposal is theirs i'm just like they can't give us more than this bitch oh this is my favorite fucking jordana episode i can't y'all not like seriously like this is every look at it she was just like really you knew bitch you knew he is your first crush too i know for a fact honey and greta said it you're like yes yes honey i think so i think layla had a crush we know so bitch look at her she's like oh real why are you so mean? <laughs> you were my first crack. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I just knew this was. Oh man, we was fed so much. This don't make no sense. Oh, like only they can have this conversation with each other. This is insane, bitch. Hey, Lily, I've been shocked. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot to tell you this. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Jamie found Asher's engagement ring and she's totally free. Fucking, fucking Jordan. Oh, he was trying to. I'm so pissed. Every time I watch this, knowing he was the one, I'm just like, this nigga. Look at him. He's <laughs> you fucking. You know what, Michael? You ate this up because. He wants to keep it a surprise. Look at And he's just like. What? Well, why was Jamie freaking out? I mean, they're basically married already. I mean, that's what I thought, but. Listen. Layla's just like, I'm agreeing with you. Like, it would make sense that they get married, but here he go. I don't know. She doesn't know if she believes in marriage. She doesn't believe in it. <laughs> it isn't so close, Layla. It is a real thing. Well, don't tell me. Tell her. <laughs> ah, no. He was a bitch. Let's do it. L Jordan. Layla didn't say it, bitch. He just started assuming that Layla was having these thoughts. She was like, why are you telling me this, babe? I'm not saying this. This is what freaking Jamie says. She don't know if she believes. Jordan was getting in his feelings. She was like, fuck. What did Jamie put in my future wife's head? Fuck. Like, I'm trying to propose to her after all this work I did just to make her feel love. Give her all the love she deserves. And she don't believe in this shit. She don't believe in us yet. Oh, my nigga was in his feelings like this whole damn time. This fucking wedding ring was for Layla. And he just assuming that Layla was having these thoughts. He was just like, uh-uh. I don't do that marriage shit, Jordan. I don't believe in that. I'm like, babe, she's saying fucking Jamie doesn't believe in it. She's agreeing that, hey, it would make sense. If he would have only seen how happy Layla was when fucking Jamie was just like, uh, I found Asher's ring. She's just like, oh my God, oh, you're doing Bitch, where was this energy when she said, hey, I'm having a baby? She said, probably assuming as soon as jamie told layla about their ring she was just like uh-uh don't do it bitch <laughs> run <laughs> run <laughs> the way he did that because i still was just like ain't no way ain't no way that is jordan's ring i'm just assuming that he's probably like damn is layla not open to the thought of being married in the future because i'm going to propose but i didn't know he was about to do it in fucking two hours from this <laughs> Yeah, he definitely had that ring for a minute. Like, he had to get it, like, a little bit after Billy passed away for sure. But he probably wasn't going to do it that soon. But he was about to do it, honey. It probably wasn't going to be that day. But it was probably going to be two days from there. Because he was ready. I'm screaming. Oh, look at Mama's fuck. Look at this. Here we go. I'm guessing it has something to do with Asher's indecent proposal. Fucking called it indecent. Oh, she was just throwing fire, bitch. She didn't even know. Woo! Have you talked to him yet? Listen, he yeah, said no. Because it ain't his. It is not his ring. It's for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get 
Uh -huh. Damn, called it a damn mistake. She was just thought she just listened. Woo! I just fire on fire. Look. You don't know. You don't know that you're gonna say no, Layla. Listen. He loves her. He loves you, Layla. And he wanna start a life with you. As his wife to be, you should respect that. Listen, look at him. I know it's a man. Okay, and Ash has been our friend a lot longer than Jamie has. Hey, why did he just ask us everything? I didn't want to tell him, so he's not blindsided. Biz. Okay, I guess I was wrong. But he showed blindsided. You listen, you know what I love so much about that right there? Jordan wasn't about to let nothing stop him from making this proposal. He's like, I don't care what you're saying. I'm about to propose to you. Are you all we living with? What? I'm going to propose to you. Listen, you don't know that you're going to say no. You don't know. All I know is that I love you and I want to spend a life with you. And you're going to get this proposal. And if you try to say no, I'm going to fight my case. I'm coming in that courtroom with documents and I'm going to show you. Man. Like, listen, this is right. What can stop this, Layla? We are meant to be. I love the confidence in that. Like, just knowing that the ring was his now and this whole time, he's just like, no. I'm going to propose to you. A mistake? Okay, indecent? Oh, yeah, but I'm going to propose to you. Stop. Because you are hurting my heart, but I'm still going to propose to you. I'm screaming. I love that, man. I love me some fucking Jordan Baker. Think about this, y'all. The fact that he did not care what Asher had to say about him loving to get married and all that kind of stuff. Like, he was expecting all of this. He was expecting people's opinions and other thoughts. And now Layla's up in his face with like, it's a mistake. They're too young. You don't want to blindside this to him. He was still like, well, <laughs> you're still getting proposed to, Layla. Feel how I feel. I know this is right. And nothing is about to stop this. And this one makes me laugh at the hate even more from, like, everybody on social media and stuff. Because, listen, they literally are putting everything that y'all are saying in that episode. They already saying the shit that y'all are saying. Oh, it's a mistake. Oh, it's indecent. Oh, they're so young. Oh, Jordan has been married before, which he actually hasn't. Listen, I, the writing for this episode was so fucking good. This is why this is my favorite Jordala episode because y'all already was clowning these dumb ass haters through this episode. And I am like, this is everything. They just like, we just about to say everything that we know all the haters are about to say anyway. So let's just put it in this episode and see if they gonna pay attention. But wait. They put it in the episode and they still saying the same shit. But I just love the confidence in Jordan. He wasn't going to let none of that stop him. Not even from Layla. Even Layla breaking his heart and shit. But it was not going to stop him from proposing to this woman. For doing what he know is just right in his heart. He know nothing is going to top this for them. When you know, you just know. It does not matter your damn age and all that kind of stuff. It's just like, seriously. Look at their love story. Bitch, like... When that is in your face, it's just like, why would I want to let this person go for any reason? Please, like, why in the hell would I want to live my life without my person? My person I knew was going to be my person since the Zoltar machine, bitch! Everybody need to stop acting like this shit is like, that bitch, they've been fucking married, honey. <laughs> I know. The fact that fucking Layla did that on purpose. She know the fucking rules. She know them damn rules. And she fucking did that on purpose just to get under his skin. He said, <laughs> no, the way he threw that ball will forever take me out. What? Look at him. She did that shit on purpose. Look at him. <laughs> he was pissed, bitch. He laughing. Look at Blindsided. Uh you. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm done. Oh, what? you is. What? <laughs> Layla, bitch, you was just breaking this man's heart, honey. Because he was just like, ain't nothing about to stop me. But she just kept. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I felt like if I knew the ring was his right in the beginning, but I was certain that it was his. And then I would have seen this moment. And he was just like, I'm done. I would have been like, damn, now he's not going to propose. Fuck. Later done got him, but nope, that ain't stop him. That's y'all didn't stop him. I'm like, listen, y'all can throw anything Jordan's way. He is not about to let that stop him from what he know is right in his heart, bitch. I just love a confident ass man.
That is a man who just never gives up. He is not going to let nothing stop him. Even this, because Layla was trying it, bitch. Layla was trying it. Look at this. She said, oh my God. Look at this, baby. Layla! The way he was turned. Layla, you really had to deal with this big ass baby your whole entire life. I can't imagine the arguments they must have had when they were kids. Like, I'm sure it is the same energy. Because look at him. How many times this girl done kicked him out the fort? Because baby, he had that stand each time he was kicked out of that fort, bitch. He said, ah! <laughs> she's so, so soft, so patient with this boy. How many times I gotta say she ain't never been like this with no other nigga? Never! I just love this. I am an emotional player. Oh, okay. You can't oh, really yeah. be this upset about Asher's stupid proposal. Stupid. Bitch, she went from indecent, <laughs> mistake, she gonna say no, now stupid. This is, okay, now it seemed like Layla was having them thoughts. I mean, she still ain't saying she don't want to get married, but she's just like, babe, I'm just about to say what all these haters are going to say. Mistake, too young, too stupid. Said that don't change how I feel, but you know, let me just speak for society. <laughs> Man, ooh, you know that's my part, bitch. That is, he is so sexy, I can't. Why you think it's stupid? Uh-huh. Too young. Uh-huh. Say whatever. Too say what all the haters saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, yeah. I think what? They are too perfect. Fight that case. Uh-huh. Too in love. Not too in love. Say what he said. Well, I think me and you are too perfect for each other, Layla. I think me and you are too in love not to. So you're going to get this ring. Hey, yo. What the hell with this? But he was just like. <laughs> He needs your air, girl. But you heard in his feelings. You really heard his feelings, Layla. Lord. He said, let me go talk. Because I'm still going to propose. But let me just go vent real quick. Because she hurt in my heart. But she's still getting this ring. I love this shit. Oh, I love a confident man. But Layla, you was, yeah, you was doing the most, girl. She don't even know she was doing the most. She's just like, babe, this is stupid. They young. They this. <laughs> Saying all the shit that these haters are saying. Think about it, but they don't pay attention to that, honey. They don't pay attention. Layla for sure had no idea <laughs> that ring was for her one bit. My girl was lost. She's just like, why is he getting so upset about Asher proposing to Jamie? Like, Layla's probably like, okay, Jordan and I need to probably have a conversation about our future together because we know he likes to get married, okay? But she's not assuming that it's his ring like he ate that scene up so good because i'm still not believing it was freaking jordan's ring he's just thinking like damn like this woman is not open to marriage at all and i'm trying to propose to her she's really fighting me right now like man because if i was hearing this shit from my partner if i was trying to propose to them i would have been like fuck i am not about to know i ain't about to embarrass myself like that but the fact that he still fucking did it is what's getting me that's what's getting me after all of this shit fucking jordan still proposed to her this is so beautiful i just oh i'm getting emotional bitch let's see let's keep watching it i do want to say even though i'm not going to play it but i am so glad that freaking jordan went to go talk to preach because that conversation was it that was the green light like he was gonna propose either way but he was just like i'm about to go propose right now i show sure am and i'm just so happy but that conversation with preach was just so beautiful that was the green light he was just like i'm about to go do what i was already gonna do anyway nothing is going to stop me because i want to be happy and i want her to be happy i know this is right okay and layla she ain't gonna say no but if she try it I'm coming in there with documents! Oh my god. Oh, here go my big baby. I'm just wondering, I'm like, was Layla curious to why he was behaving like this? Like the way she just was like when he came back, like she's just so used to this man and his big ass baby way. She probably like, I'll talk to him later, because it is Olivia's moment, but look at it. Look at her. Okay, oh, she's just like. Uh, well, you know, let's stick with passionate players. She's just like, oh, she had no idea. No idea what was coming, but she was just like, ah, uh, it's okay, baby. You just be in your little passionate cell. We'll talk about this later. She's just like, I know my baby loves marriage, and I'm sure he wants to be married in the future, so we'll just talk about that later since we got time, bitch. No, y'all know. He about to propose in 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm screaming. She had 
no idea. But she's just like, ah, oh, my big baby. We're good. I forgive you, Zaddy. Come on, come here, sit next to me. <laughs> oh, the patience. It's the yin and yang, like Greta and Michael said, the yin and yang between Jordan and Layla. This is why they are each other's person. They just complete each other in things that they lack on the other side. Layla's gonna be that calm when he's hot at it. And even when Layla gets, you know, how Jordan is that, like, let me bring you down with my silliness, girl. Come here, come here, poke your nose. It's so cute, bitch. <laughs> But yes, let's get into this. It's the proposal time. We about to go straight to the proposal. Are y'all ready? I'm not ready. Am I ready? Bitch. This bitch. Let's get into it. Let's get into it! I've been in this car for a minute, bitch, because oh, I miss this. I really do. This shit was so cute. Wait, if, if the ring wasn't for me, who was it for? <laughs> Fucking took me out! I cannot. The way this had me going fucking insane. But you want to know what? Let's just talk about this because the way that they cut from Jamie and Asher scene to freaking Jordan being on his knee with that ring is like the same feeling of how they cut from Jordan and Layla dancing right at the reception to them ending up in bed together. Like it had that same like, what the fuck? Of course, y'all, with this proposal, I would have loved to see Jordan actually going to get the ring, coming outside, seeing Layla sitting down, and, you know, him doing that whole scene. Like, I would have loved to see that just like I would have fucking loved to see the damn sex scene of Jordan and Layla. But, no, it just cut to them straight in the bed because it's just beautiful, shocking-ass moments. Because it's just like when you're looking at them, you're just probably assuming that, especially with the sex thing, right? I'm just assuming that, oh, they are going to put the pause on it. They're gonna pump the brakes, right? <laughs> pump the brakes and just take their time with this relationship, do things the right way, and all that kind of stuff. But for them to jump from them dancing after having that conversation to them in and up in bed together, right? It just said, fuck that. Fuck doing it the right way. Okay, we're about to do this our way. If we just know this is right for us, what's the point of waiting? And it's like when they do that cutscene, it's just a big ass shot because it's just like, hold on, what the fuck is going? here but then after you spend time just studying it more you're just like it just makes so much fucking sense now this really does because those were two of the biggest like shocking ass jordala moments for me is them dancing and ending up in bed together and then this jamie and asher scene to the fucking proposal ring like it just makes so much fucking sense shout out to brain rot for pointing that out too that's why i'm like read that post read that jordala post i was telling y'all about because they definitely point that out and it's just like oh my gosh it just made me have a deep as appreciation for how they did that because i'm just like wow fuck everything fuck opinions fuck taking our time but we just about to jump into this bitch because we just know this is right when it's right it's right i love what they did with that like of course i want to see every little detail because it's your day little bitch i want to see everything but it's just like when you think about it like that you're just like that is what I'm talking about. Bravo. I love exactly how this shit was filmed, bitch. Because it's a shocking moment. But then when you're sitting in it, you're just like, damn, this makes sense. This makes sense, bitch. I just love that so much. Let's keep on doing it because, man, this took me out. It fucking blew me up. I can't get over this. Look at it. I can't get over this. I really can't. Oh, let's look at her. She looked. She was ready to say yes. She was ready. I was screaming like my dad said to me right. tell me she officially has my approval you know what that that right listen i was so curious and wondering did jordan tell layla yet that you know, that was one of the last conversations he had with his dad of Billy approving of her. It definitely wasn't the last damn words because he's like, the last words my dad said to me. Oh, my baby. That definitely wasn't the exact last words, but it was that last heart to heart moment for sure that he had with his dad. And it was of him approving Layla. And I was just like, dang, did Jordan tell her this yet? Because, you know, they don't be giving us everything. They don't be giving us all the conversations we just want. So I'm just like, he probably did tell her but we just didn't get to see it so for it to be brought up in this fucking proposal the first words to come out of his mouth that is so fucking insane to start that proposal like that 
imagine like that was really his last heart to heart moment he had with his dad and it wasn't related to fucking football okay like yeah they were playing football but they were really having a heart to heart conversation about love and happiness and what it does for you because billy knew jordan wasn't talking about football when he was just like i feel like i'm right where i belong to billy was just like yeah love will do that for you for him to be like tell layla she has my approval come on now because billy sees how happy layla makes him so for that to kind of be the last heart to heart conversation they had and then jordan bringing that up in this proposal the first words he says to this woman that is insane i would have said yes right there because i'm just like what that was so beautiful just that part right there ate me up and people just like oh jordan is only proposing because he lost his dad are you serious boy the way this man wanted to marry this woman his whole life stop playing with me this is when you know people just don't watch the damn show i'm just like have y'all not fucking seen their storyline y'all just talk and then people just be talking but that is not why he proposed to layla this man was going to propose to layla no matter what even if billy was still here he was going to propose to this woman i'm just like y'all do not watch this show <laughs> people just gonna bring up anything like he only proposed because he lost his dad he's grieving and just stick and focus on what y'all watch because i'll just be like man people who don't watch this show show got a lot to say y'all really do but this was it it wasn't the last damn words billy said to jordan but you know my baby he's just doing his romantic thing but man just like imagine layla just hearing that like i was just paying so much close attention to layla as he's saying that wow just imagine hearing this from your man like oh i can't wow like when i went home and really was studying this i said wow wow chills chills like when you know the storyline when you actually paid attention to the fucking storyline you know this is just hitting on high ass levels for you it's gonna hit bitch like when you just put all the pieces together you're just like oh my fucking gosh this was it this was it okay continue the last words my dad said to me were, confident me officially has oh the way problem. the way he was holding that down he was gripping the hell out of that ring he was just like oh the confidence and look i didn't even tell him about us okay oh my god he, he could just see how happy you make me oh and look at her she just taking that in but look 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 how he go baby, when baby. With you, what i feel like i'm home on in the beginning like his first crush and like you're calling this woman your home that number one thing you was craving in life is just to feel at home to feel at peace to just feel accepted just to feel comfort like he only really experienced that with layla now you're calling this woman your home after making her feel like she is more than enough man i listen look I'm at so her look you. i don't want to spend a day in my life without you no proposal y'all wrote this because has he has he every single day man we have countless and countless of receipts of this man letting layla know how much he is in love with her way before the i love you honey like the way he said i love you in every damn way possible for him to say that rewind bitch rewind this is a beautiful ass proposal look at this baby when i'm with you oh i feel, I feel like, like i'm home. You are his home, Layla. I am so in Look love with you. I don't want to spend a day in my life without you knowing. I am so in love with you. I don't want to spend a day in my life without you knowing it. Don't lose faith. Don't doubt. Believe in God. Believe in God. Did he tell this to Simone, bitch? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look at her. 
she is taking this in look at how she lights up bitch look at how my girl is lighting up this proposal is beautiful this shit was so fucking youthful and that's what i love about it the most it is so youthful after they was just acting all oh, this whole fucking season bitch all these old ass outfits these old ass conversations old ass moments all they was giving just merry 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 and i'm like 19 no the fuck they are 37 and i was just saying all this shit for them to be acting like an old married couple this entire season five just to result to this beautiful youthful ass proposal not just a proposal but the entire damn episode was youthful as fuck every damn scene was so beautiful and youthful especially the outfits let's just talk about layla's outfit first of all the hair baby the hair and shout out to brain rock because you know look at her damn hair the little cute pigtail like baby what in the damn nine-year-old is this it is so cute just from the damn outfits okay because y'all know how layla's outfits be it is usually always 28 years old or up right my baby was like, we about to go nine year old with it. Hey, I'm gonna give her about 13. I'm gonna give her 13. But babe, just look at that. And just the way they was acting this whole entire episode. Jordan getting in his feelings like a big ass baby. Layla over here putting <laughs> the football when she pushes him and all that. And he throws the little ball. It was just like watching them as little kids argue and all that kind of stuff. It was so damn cute. And now all of that just to come to this big ass moment because we know marriage is a big deal. I know it's a big <laughs> But listen, they at this big ass deal moment, right? But they're youthful with it. It kind of made them feel like they were just little kids again, just kind of being around each other for the first time. You know, imagine seeing your crush for the first time ever and you're a kid. Just imagine the moment Olivia brought Layla home, you know, like this is my friend and Jordy sees her and he's just like, you know, he has all these goosebumps and butterflies. Like, so that's why this proposal is so fucking special. Like, if they didn't have that history with each other as kids, I'll be like, man, why y'all just listen? Like, you would assume the proposal would be differently. I'm sure the writers would write this so differently if they didn't have that history of them being kids. But the fact that they have that history with each other, the fact that we got the first crush confession in this same episode, it all makes sense. Like, they really did their thing with this episode. This is by far my favorite fucking episode. And this is the most youthful episode they ever had. This is the youngest I have seen them fucking act, especially Layla. I can just imagine them like this as kids. It is just so beautiful to see. So for it to result to this youthful, beautiful as proposal, this is what's getting me, y'all. This was so perfectly done. I can't imagine this happening any other way. And it's the joy in Layla, bitch. She probably never smelled this much since she was a little ass kid. Think about that. Think about that. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at her. Here it is. Will you marry me? Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, look at her. She was... Look at, listen, she was trying to say yes, but listen, when you was not expecting that shit, you're just like, and here he go. He's just like, okay, let me find my case. I swear. Relax, I swear. <laughs> she don't care about that shit. Everything. She but doesn't. JJ, JJ found out about the ring, so this babe. Oh, look at him. He's right? fighting that case. Look. And, and look, look. Look, baby, look. This is so beautiful. It's the confidence, Jordan. Man, the way he was fighting this case, like I said. I know we're young. Look, I know it looks like, listen, I know. Uh-huh. And look, he was, but, best fucking part of this entire damn series. I kid you not. I, I kid you not. Y'all want to hear it again? Give it to him. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, come on. Come on, fight that case. Okay. Yes. This is the best fucking line <laughs> in this entire series bitch yes this one yes this one yes the way that layla oh greta you ate this up greta you ate this up i never never i have never seen her this happy this is my bitch and i ain't never seen her smile like this I'm telling y'all
y'all, my girl has not smelled this much since she was a kid crushing on Jordan. I bet you, I bet you, this is why this whole euphoria, and it makes sense, bitch. Look at her. Greta ate this up. Greta, you ate that up. This is my favorite moment of this entire series. I'm talking about all the way from season one to this, bitch. This was it. Because remember, y'all, what do I say? I am a Layla Keating Layla Keating Baker fan first. I am. And the number one thing that I always wanted for this girl the most as I watched this show and seen how miserable she was because she was miserable. When I just seen how she was in season one and all the relationships, I was like, I need this girl to experience true joy. I need her to experience happiness like so, so bad. And I know for a fact Jordan was the only one who was going to be able to give that to her. I knew it because bitch, people love love. And I was like, this is a show. We love love stories. And I was just like, Jordan is going to be that only fucking human on this show who can give that to her. And it's the same thing with Jordan as I was getting to know his character a little bit more. I'm just like, man, I need this man to experience being his own. Like, I just need him to not try to, you know, please anybody else or try to follow in somebody else's footsteps. I need this man to find his own, find his own identity, okay? I need this man to feel peace. I need this man to experience what home feels like. And the fact that these two things, you know, joy, being at home, feeling peace, this is what they was craving the most growing up. They craved this. Layla was craving this joy, craving this happiness. Jordan was craving feeling at home, being his own. Everything that Layla was lacking in her life, everything that she craved, she was able to get that from Jordan and vice versa. Everything that Jordan was lacking in his world that he craved the most, he was able to get that from Layla. And the main thing about that, right? is that they didn't feel like they had to be complete or they didn't feel like they had to be perfect for each other, okay? Because that's the thing is just like, why do I have to be the perfect girl? Why do I have to be 100%? Why do I have to be complete to be enough for someone? You know, because that's what they were doing. It seems like their whole life, like even Layla, you know, she was trying to be like the perfect daughter, the perfect girlfriend. Same with freaking Jordan. You know, he's kissing everybody ass, you know, trying to follow in their footsteps and all that kind of stuff and it's just like no why do I have to do this just to be enough and just seeing how Jordan just always made Layla know that Layla you've always been more than enough and you are getting this from somebody who had a crush on you since fucking so hard but shame and then Jordan can easily accept everything that Layla is throwing his way when she's just like listen you need to stand up for yourself because I see it in you I've known you since I was a kid and I know you can be your own have your own identity you don't have to follow in your dad's day but about your way what about the jordan baker way okay because jordan ain't gonna listen to nobody else okay he gonna listen to this woman right here because this woman knows and one thing they know is that they study each other so fucking well like jordan you can't try to act brand new around layla because she know the real you and that's the same for fucking layla this is the best thing about this relationship for me they're yin and yang and just how they are just each other's person and that's the thing like they never had to really change who they were to be each other this person to be their kind of perfect for each other and I just love that and they just feed each other with what is lacking on the other side like nobody else only Jordan has the fucking recipe and ingredients to give everything that Layla needs and it's the same with fucking Layla only she can make this perfect ass meal only she got the recipe bitch I'm hungry that's why I'm mentioning that but bitch that's me y'all know what I'm saying bitch only these two have the fucking perfect meals the perfect ingredients to make each other feel like the enough that they can be for the, each other they ain't gotta be a hundred they ain't gotta be complete they ain't gotta be none of that because that's what they was always trying to do growing up and nobody ever made them feel like all the work that they was doing to try to be perfect to try to feel complete it just didn't feel like enough not just for other relationships in the past but even their parents especially the dad thing like they have so much similarity Layla didn't feel like she was enough for her dad to keep her dad at home like she was abandoned by her dad and that's the same with fucking Jordan and Billy Jordan did not feel like he was enough for Billy he always felt like second because he always put in you know Spencer or the football team or whatever else above him and it's the same with Layla her dad was putting music and all these little hoes he was messing with before Layla they always just never felt like somebody's first and now they get to be that for each other <laughs> again
I love this love story, bitch. This is the best fucking love story to ever exist. And I'm glad that I took hours and hours and hours to study something so amazing like this. And just, oh, the joy, bitch. The joy. I just love seeing people win. I love seeing people who deserve to win, win. Because this girl gets so much fucking unnecessary hate outside of this show those are the kind of people i do not need to surround myself with i do not need to surround myself with miserable people but this is it this was it i know i spent a good moment but that yes is it y'all because this is them they are their perfect person they're they're kind of perfect without having to change who they are you know just to please somebody it's just like i'm taking you exactly how you are you have been my perfect girl since the beginning and all i want for you is just to be happy that's all they want for each other is happiness. <laughs> this is beautiful. That's okay, I'm sorry. Let me rewind a little bit because I got to see this again. Can't get enough of this. Okay, okay, okay. Look, baby, she was trying to say yes, but look. She was like, let me just let him do his thing, my little passionate man. Like, I... Look, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He was fighting the sky. He was so cute. Look at he! Oh, he was going in. I'm telling you, this man was fighting this case. He said, "Hey, tell me you don't feel it, Layla. It's just the two of us." <laughs> and it was. I just love that they were by themselves too during this proposal. This is the best thing. Like, even if they would have did this in front of the crowd, it would have been this exact same energy. Because what is it like when they are with each other, bitch? They don't see nobody else in the room. It is just them. They forget that anybody else is in the room. So it would have been this exact same reaction, even if it was hundreds and hundreds of people around them right now, because they only see each other. It's only them when they're talking to each other. This is beautiful, bitch. It really is. Really Look, at mm -hmm. Look at her. Look at her. I probably should have asked you about it first. She said, yes. yes. <laughs> she said, yes. Please, Jordan, save me. Take me forever, because I was miserable. <laughs> Greta cracks me up when she said that Greta gets it bitch she's like that girl was miserable honey please take me because lord you are it I, I'm not about to question this it's been a yes boo but I was just letting you do your thing my little passionate man <laughs> look at he's shocked Did you just say yes? of course she said yes she's like yes Jordan duh. look at all the, the hugs oh. and then the kiss bitch. and then shout out to brain rock because brain rot oh my gosh read that post y'all she definitely mentioned how they are each other's best friends everybody know that and it was the hug before the kiss it was just like he wanted to hug his best friend and share this moment like oh my gosh like i'm really about to marry my fiance she said yes and then you like wait you are my fiance let me kiss your ass like he wanted to share that moment with his best friend before fucking kissing the love of his life i love that I, oh that kiss oh the ring oh oh before i take you down the ring oh come on baby a real ring bitch a real ring just saying oh the best fucking kiss ever oh! and we got this man on you y'all just gave us everything y'all gave us everything oh and then look i think oh i let y'all see that little part where she turned her head but did she kiss on the cheek or something or they kept kiss i don't know but this was everything please shock yes yes of course she said yes he's just like <laughs> you know he can never breathe around her <laughs> Did she say? <laughs> he just can't ever breathe around this woman he always have trouble breathing around layla but he can't breathe without her mm. 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 Listen, because look, when Jordan say, I need air, bitch, he talk about Layla, bitch. You are his air, Layla. <laughs> look at this. Oh, that hug. Hug my best friend. Kiss my fiance. Oh, he's like, oh, 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 the ring. Let me give you a real ring. Because, you know, I gave you some own little plastic little thing. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's the joy. It's the joy. Oh, and by mind you, bitch. Bitch. Okay, we, uh, we almost done, but oh, this man has, but are y'all listening to the song, bitch? Do y'all hear the lyrics in the song? Let's rewind. We get in this all in right now. I need y'all to get all this in. Listen to the lyrics. Right? Listen. Oh, for so long I've been waiting. It's really, really big deal. 
for so long for a love like this and now we're sure baby I lost you for a minute but oh they thought they lost each other but it's the sweetest spring in my door can you feel it just the same as before many years have gone by but what but I watching this show this long if it wasn't for Jordan. I'll show the fuck with it. Man, I'm telling you, who them lyrics, bitch? And y'all, this is my favorite part of this song. Let me pull it up on damn iTunes real quick, bitch, because, babe, this is the best part of this song. Hey, I've always been yours, only yours. Hey, hey. Now I claim, bitch. Not some mom, bitch. Not Spencer, bitch. Or Asha, bitch. Not Tessa, bitch. Or the roommate. So let them hate. Hey, let them hate. Ah! <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That is Quietly Yours by fucking Birdie. Shout out to Birdie, bitch. Oh my gosh, that song was so perfect for Jordana. Like, I'm telling you, they be doing it with the song. First lean into love. And now this bitch. Oh my gosh. She said. I've always been yours, only yours. Now, none of the past, bitch. This is beautiful. There y'all have it, y'all. This was fun. Oh, I miss this, bitch. This is probably going to be long, too. But hey, why not, bitch? This is for sure my little last video for a couple of months, honey. And then I'll come back in a couple of months. But this was everything. I'm always going to give Jordae Lily flowers, okay? And you know one thing a lot of people love saying about this couple who be hating on them? They say Jordae hasn't been tested. And do you know one thing I loved from that brain rot post? Make sure y'all read it. But they said just because you pass the test doesn't mean you haven't been tested think about that honey and if you don't think grieving is a test in a relationship babes I'm going to just leave it at that, honey. But I am just so happy for my babies. We get to enjoy this long-ass engagement <laughs> for months, okay? Way before they even start filming season six. So I'm not even thinking about what's to come with Jordela. I am just going to live in this happy-ass hiatus. And I am just so happy for us Jordela gang gang because we really go hard for this couple. I see people go hard for a ship, but I don't think nobody go hard for a ship like this. The way Jordela gang gang be going off for Jordela is... It's so beautiful to see daily on Twitter because people be just so upset with all this happiness that Jordana gives. This has just been so heavenly. So I'm so glad I got to do this for y'all. Thank y'all for being patient with me because, you know, I was going to do this a little earlier, but I got sick really bad, y'all. Like really, really bad. I was knocked out. I felt myself getting sick when I came from Virginia and I was just like, Lord, please let me just make it through this reaction of this finale before I get sick, sick. But I knew it was coming and doing that reaction definitely made it worse though but it was fucking worth it but yeah i was sick really bad so i just needed time to recover but babes i am perfectly fine now i am just in my jordela happiness and yes babe let's keep repping for our couple because we don't stay quiet we not gonna stay quiet about this hell fucking no i hope y'all enjoyed this and yes jordela gang leave y'all comments like we usually do and let's just miss our babies together but this is by far my favorite jordela episode and i'm excited for more to come but i am going to be very very happy here for a long ass time very very happy shout out to michael and greta shout out to the writers for doing them right and yes bitch let's lift this up say it with me y'all jordana gang gang <laughs>